What's up my peeps, I bring to you once again some more 2K14 gameplay, you guys thought I was done with just that one six man tag team match, I mean given that six man tag team match, the NWO versus the Shield at Wrestlemania 30, was is an epic matchup, it's an awesome match, if you haven't checked that out, make sure to check it out, it's it's the video I just uploaded before this one, so yeah, go, go watch that, and after you've watched that, check this one out, this one it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. It is John Cena versus Big Papa Pump, the Big Bad Booty Daddy, Scott Steiner. I'm a big fan of Scott Steiner. Uh, Scott Steiner is one of my favorite wrestlers slash superstars slash entertainers. He is, in TNA, he was freaking hilarious. Uh, he had some, <laughs> some memorable... Promos, uh, interviews, who can forget the Main Event Mafia interview with Mike Tenay where Scott Steiner just out of nowhere when Mike Tenay mentions Samoa Joe, he snaps and he's all like, that son of a bitch calling us out, he's fat, that fat son of a bitch. And then uh, they try and calm him down, he's like, he's fat once again. <laughs> Scott Steiner was freaking hilarious in TNA. Steiner's just freaking awesome in general. Um... He's a suplexing machine, and he's funny too. And I learned that watching TNA, because <laughs> he didn't have those those comedy segments before. When when he came in the uh, in the WWE, it wasn't like a comedy. I mean, he wasn't a comedy character in TNA, but he had some really funny interviews. By the way, check this out: Exploder Suplex on uh, John Cena through the announcers table. By the way. This is in the Extreme Rules Arena, and this is an Extreme Rules matchup. How could I forget to mention that? You guys probably saw me use weapons. Uh, did I use a weapon yet? I don't think I did. I think I just grabbed the, the steel steps, and John Cena grabbed them from me. And then he hits me with the steel steps. Same steel steps I grabbed. And right now, I'm like backing up. I'm like, all right, all right, let me pick one up too. And then bam, once again, he doesn't. Cena does not want Steiner to pick up the steel steps because he knows Big Papa Pump. The man with the largest arms in the world would destroy John Cena with the steel steps if he gets his hands on him. And I was real happy when I found out that Scott Steiner was going to be DLC for 2K14. The only thing that would make it better if it was if he had like an alternate attire, maybe his WWE attire with his holla. If you hear me, theme song. That would have been awesome. That would have been cool. Uh, but th this is the NWO Scott Steiner. Nonetheless, though, it is Scott Steiner, so, so it's, it's cool, you know. It, oh, by the way, check this out. Uh, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but hey, it, it looks pretty cool. John Cena on the steel steps. It's kind of sad. It's not even a glitch. No, it's not a glitch. Big Papa Pump saw John Cena laying on those steel steps. He thought, you know, why not let me drop the elbow on John Cena on the steel steps? It's going to hurt more. It's going to do more damage, so let's do this. And then he hits it. Right here, John Cena counters whatever move I try to do. Oh, I think, oh yeah, uh, Scott Steiner has a pretty cool corner move in this game. It's kind of like a power slam. He picks him up, power slam position, and then bumps them off the turnbuckle, and then hits, uh, I mean, it's not, once he slams them, it doesn't really, it doesn't necessarily look like a power slam because he doesn't fall down with them. But I guess it is a power slam, but he doesn't fall down with them. I think I hit the move later on in the matchup so you guys will see just what I'm talking about so if you're confused right now just wait and see and right here I'm just grabbing weapons left and right steel chairs tables I've already got a game plan I know what I want to do I make sure these matches are entertaining so I have like these these spots in the matchup in mind I'm like all right I need to do this I need to do this with this chair uh, use this table for this and uh, unless I do that, then I'm not happy with the video. I'm not happy with the gameplay. Because I played this match a few times, and it just didn't turn out as like as well as I wanted it to, to turn out. It, uh, I didn't get to hit you know certain moves in time. And by the way, check this out. This is one of the moves. I just had to hit it. I was like, you know what? Scott Steiner returns, and he targets John Cena. And he faces off against John Cena once he gets his hands on Cena. He's going to be vicious. He's going to destroy John Cena. Look at this. Giving John Cena a concussion. 
bam, right here, John Cena coming back from a uh, an elbow injury, and then Scott Steiner trying to injure him once again. Look at this, Scott Steiner taunting, you know, uh, flexing the biceps, push-ups. And for those wondering why he made this matchup, I mean, come on, John Cena versus Scott Steiner, I would, I would like to see this. I would like to see a program between John Cena and Scott Steiner. Just, just give Scott Steiner the microphone and let him just go off on John Cena, see what he says. Uh, I mean, he can't say he's fat, but, uh, you know, I'm sure Scott Steiner could come up with something pretty funny. And, uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, this is one of the spots I made sure to hit in the matchup. A Steiner screwdriver onto the steel steps. This would have ended the matchup right here, but Scott Steiner doesn't want to end it like this. I mean, yeah, he locks on the Steiner recliner, but no. It, this is just to, you know, make John Cena suffer a bit more, you know, uh, work on his back. But John Cena, it looks like John Cena is actually getting a second win here. He's picking up some momentum and he gets out of it. Actually, they didn't want to end the match up with the Steiner recline. I had another plan and you'll, you guys will see uh, what, uh, what that plan is. I'm not actually going to finish the match up with the finisher. This isn't something that happens too often. I usually end the matchup with a finisher, but here I thought of something. I was like, you know what? That would be a more appropriate or more... It would be a better and a cooler ending to the matchup. And, and let's face it, really. John Cena hasn't tapped out in, what? Uh, seven years? I don't know. A bunch of years. He hasn't tapped out in a long-ass time. And I don't think he's going to tap out for the first time against Scott Steiner. Keep in mind, I also aim to keep my videos as realistic as possible. So making Cena tap out to the Steiner recliner wasn't really an option. And you guys can kind of figure out what, what I'm trying to do. Because as you can see, well actually you, you can't see right here because right here I use a sealed chair. But I'm trying to get the table. I'm trying to set up the table because I'm ending this match up in an epic way, in an epic fashion. And uh, it's a move I'm actually happy is in the game. I'm pretty sure the move is is like a DLC move. It's specific to Scott Steiner. I don't think the move was actually in the game before the DLC today, uh, the NWO pack. So, finally set up the table right here. Only problem is I gotta get John Cena in the corner Set him up top without him countering. I think he counters right here. Yeah, he actually counters. But I think I counter right here. And Scott Steiner is going to let John Cena just counter his moves. So he sets him up top. Try and guess which move I put John Cena through the table with. I mean, personally, I don't even know the name of this move. Uh, if Scott Steiner has his own specific name for it. I would just call this like uh, an Olympic slam. It's kind of like Kurt Angle's. Angle slam from the top turnbuckle. And yeah, I decided to end the matchup with this through the table. Why? Because it's it's one of my Scott Sanders finishers, actually. He uh, won a few matches with this on TV. So, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this epic. Check this out. I did not put John Cena through just one table with one suplex. I put John Cena through two. Oh, check this out, too. Even the game recognized that was an epic moment right there. John Cena on the steel steps and an elbow drop onto John Cena. Bam! Look at this. Boots to the head onto the steel post. This was simply a matchup of epic proportions. I mean, look at that. You know, a Steiner screwdriver onto the steel chair. As if this Steiner screwdriver alone onto the mat isn't enough. And Scott Steiner victorious by pinning John Cena. I had a lot of fun playing this match, and you guys can expect some more 2K14 gameplay videos involving the new uh, DLC characters from the NWO pack, which just released today. So, that is pretty much it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, you can click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. it really helps me out. With that said, I'm up, guys. See ya.